So let's go through rental process management in Rentrax. So this is pretty well illustrated on our rent order screen by these kind of bars. These represent the different stages of a rental order as it moves through the system. So we have pending, open, uh, to be started, delivered, you know, all the way through to closed or overdue. So let's just take this one step at a time. Um, in the pending tab, you can see that, that uh, so this is a configurable option. Some people like to have like a manual confirmation that they do uh, when people create rentals. Uh, this is mostly for, you know, high value equipment um, where you just kind of assume that you'll be able to work things out, but you want that extra layer. Uh, most people turn this off though. Uh, but if you want to leave it, you know, if you want to have that extra, you know, have a staff manually review the rental order here and then click the confirm button. That's totally fine. Uh, once uh, the confirmation goes through, then you can go to your open orders. So the definition of an open order, uh, you can see it's highlighted in red here, is all your orders that were created between this date and this date will appear in this tab. So you can kind of think of this as like your new bookings list. So when you want to see what did I book today uh, or what did I book within a you know, configurable time period, you set the time period and you click the open orders list. Now let's move on to be started. So this is who's going to show up today or who's going to show up in this time period. You can see because the plan start is highlighted in red here, um, so this is, you know, this guy is going to show up at 10, you know, this guy is going to show up at 1115 and so on and so on. Let's go ahead and, uh, deliver something. So we can click into here, click the deliver button, pick a bike to deliver and deliver it, which will move the rental into the delivered state. So again, uh, this will be all the rentals that were delivered between this and this date. Uh, and you can see the time that it was delivered here. Now, uh, when they come back, we, we set the like to be returned tab to see, okay, who's going to come back today. Again, it's based on planned finish highlighted in red. So you can see this is the list of people that I think will come back in between this period and this period. So I just click the return button, check the return box. And then if it needs service, you know, you can either check that or not. This will take it out of service until you put it back in. Uh, but we'll just assume that it's fine and we can click return. And since there was no balance due, it closed the order. So we go back to the rent orders list here and we can see uh, the closed time. This is based on the closed time. So show me all the orders closed between this period and this period. Uh, and then if you have people who are late, people who need to bring back uh, their rent order. So this one was meant to be done uh, at the end of January, but it is not back yet. So uh, that's why it's showing up in the overdue tab. So that's just like a quick run through uh, managing your rental orders and rent tracks.